Hey it's Emily, it's Dilly Chrissy here, and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 4 Parenthood Part 36. And I just couldn't wait to record this part only after a day of posting the last part, so I feel like we're back on track after being a little bit slow on this LP. But Sylvia is away with Xavier. They're having like their teen holiday. I feel like he would have picked her up from her house in like his uh utility truck or van or something and he's like taking her away camping and her mom and Clarice would be like are you serious <laughs> okay you know she's she's 18 now she can do what she wants I guess but she's still a little girl she's at that awkward stage where she's not like fully independent but she kind of half is so it's a little bit hard Anyway, uh, she's just using my toilet, having a little bit of a tinkle, uh, which is good. And then I wanted her and Xavier to move in together. Oh, do you want to hang out tonight? Oh, Elliot, I'm sorry. We're camping at the moment. That would have been nice, though. Uh, but I want these guys to move in together. So Elliot's going to... Not Elliot. Oh, my God. Xavier's going to ask her to move in with her. And we're going to... Yeah. Get them moved into a nice city apartment. Uh, you know, she's working for, for herself. I feel like he's a tradesman. Oh, and nice. Clarice has only earned $678. I feel like she should have earned a lot more than that. So let's go up to Xavier and uh, let's kiss hands. Now, even though in my head he's asked her to move in, I think this would be more her accepting to move in with him. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about that. So maybe what I might do is we might go down to the water's edge. Now that it's uh, getting to kind of nighttime, I feel like this is a cute time for them to kind of sit down and maybe look at the stars and or cloud gaze. Maybe let's go chat here. And she can say, look, Xavier, I really do want to move in with you. And I think it'll be really fun and exciting. Whereas I feel like this is actually going to cause a whole heap of problems for Sylvia. I think they're moving way too fast. But you know, when you're young, you make silly problems. And it makes for all the drama, which is what we love. Okay, so where's... Ask just to be friends. No, no, girl. Hug lovingly. Okay. She's so exhausted. Oh, actually, she's not too bad. She's in yellow. Uh, oh, oh, you guys, oh, okay. that's cute. That's really cute. Uh, cute. There's so many options Pick now in The Sims 4. I feel like it just goes on and on and on and on. Uh, let's just do some more romance. Compliment, compliment appearance. Oh, I do like that jumper. Ask the stargate. There we go. That's what I was envisioning. Look at that moon rising. How romantic. Double. How romantic. And I think That's once they've moved in, uh, they should totally elope. That would be cool. Although I feel like Sylvia... Oh, would Sylvia be the type no. of girl who would so want no, to have no a wedding? Or would she be the type of girl to elope? I feel like she would oh, elope because so she does have that rebellious streak in her. Uh, not that I don't think eloping's not romantic, but I think at her age, oh, without man. telling her mom... Her, or her mom's yeah, would be... Yeah, pretty naughty. Wow. All right, so here they are camping, and she said, you know what, Xavier? I think we should move in together. He's like, oh, this is going to be so awesome. <laughs> so they're going to get a little city apartment. And, you know, it's cute. Although, let's let's keep in mind that Xavier does have a little bit of a mean streak in him. Uh, he's got a bit of deviance. So, yeah, it could get interesting. I feel like this is a couple who might be quite fiery and end up fighting a lot. But at the same time, with that uh, fire comes a lot of passion. So it's going to be interesting. Where is their campsite, you guys? <laughs> I always lose uh, their campsite in The Sims 4 Outdoor Retreat. Like, I feel like... You need like a click back to camp option because I just, I just lose it. I absolutely, oh, is this a garden? I didn't know there was a garden here. Oh my God. You know what? Let's just, you know what? Let's just do a little cheaty, cheat, cheat without even cheating. Damn it. I thought that would make her go back to the tent. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, guys, we are going to find the campsite because you guys are yelling at the screen where it was. Not over here, not over here. Do you remember that YouTube video? Run, run, Weezy. Harry Potter, ooh, Harry Potter. That was like the most addictive video I think I've ever watched on YouTube. Like, it was so good. 
Okay, fine. I cannot, I have serious issues right now, you guys. Like, I cannot find it anywhere. So what I'm gonna do is just get Sylvia to move. Uh, and then we'll move her out with Xavier, which would be very exciting. Uh, although she's not gonna have a whole heap of money. Well, we'll see how we go. Okay, so let's go here. Oh, can we move when we're on vacation? Pay bills? Holy jolly. Uh, let's go to... Oh, I think we have to be home to move. Hmm. Hmm. That's kind of annoying. We could... Oh, let's go to... Let's go to world map. Uh, let's just go to manage worlds and we'll do it from here. And then we'll get them a nice city apartment. You feel? I feel like they would suit being in the city. Uh, so manage households. Uh, so let's get, let's transfer Sims between households. Let's create a new household and get Xavier Norton out of here and select from a, oh, okay. Uh, household split and merge. Okay. So we split him out. Oh, where is he? Here we go. And then we want to add... Sylvia, excellent. So she's just gonna move in with him and they're going to create their own new household. So this is gonna be interesting. I don't know where they're gonna live. Oh, okay, so now we have to move them in. Gosh, this is a little bit confusing. <laughs> okay, so let's go here. Or they could have a cute little starter home, but I feel like there's something about the apartment living that I feel like Sylvia really suits. Uh, and I feel like apartments are traditionally quite affordable for young, you know, young people. $500 a week. That's so expensive. That is so, so expensive. What is this? $1,200 a week. Uh, no, thank you. $1,200. That guy could, we could move this guy out of here. And... I just lost my game screen then. Let's check out the other options. Weekly rent, 400 a week. Well, this is a nice little apartment. It's a little bit cheaper for them to afford. You know, I think they could have a really nice time in this one. It's got one bedroom, bathroom, spacious living area, nice little kitchen. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I just got these guys to move into their new house they're back oh. from camping and this is it so it's definitely not that fancy but it does have a lot of windows and bit by bit i think they can make this into their nice little home uh xavier's jumping straight into bed meanwhile i think yeah i think sylvia hasn't even gone home and she's just gone she's just moved out so i think she's a bit in shock but she's just doing what she wants you know that's her which means that we will have some room uh, for Bailey and Esther to have a room each. So that's kind of good. Um, oh my gosh. And yes, Sylvia's going to have to learn how to cook a little bit. Uh, Revitalize by a nap. Cheap fridge smell. Oh, gross. Now they do have $11,000. So we could do like a little quick fix me up of their apartment, you know, get it looking a little nicer. So I might just do that quickly. Alrighty, so I just gave the apartment a little bit of a, dec a decorating makeover. I just wanted to make it look a little bit more youthful, so I've changed the couches up, put some nice pops of color in, but still the kitchen is looking really old because I wanted it to be, you know, realistic. These, these guys, they're a young couple. They don't have a whole lot of money. It's not like they're going to be living in an amazing apartment as their first home. Uh, but there is like some nice new furniture in there, a punching bag for Xavier to work out on, a nice Pilates mat as well for him, and maybe Sylvia might get into that as well. And we've also got a nice stereo there, uh, because I feel like, you know, the youthful, they want a bit of music in here. Nice mirror, but pretty much the bedroom's very bland. And the rest of the money I'm going to save for when they can have a proper apartment makeover. So that's very exciting that they're you know, moved into their own little house now. So, oh my God, so crazy, so crazy. And I think what we'll do is now that they are moved in, we'll get Xavier to be very romantic here. And he is going to, oh, he's angry. No. Oh, well, let's do a frenzied kiss. I was going to get him to propose as soon as they moved in. Why are you angry? Just because he's hot headed. Oh my gosh. 
She's like, sweetie, are you okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 hello. Hello, Xavier and Sylvia in the house. <laughs> Okay, Plus, he's feeling more inspired now. Excellent, excellent. So I think he should get down on one <laughs> knee and propose in their brand new apartment, which is moving so quickly. The mom's gonna absolutely freak out. Oh my god, Sylvia's getting married? What? When did this happen? She's like, oh, I love you, Sylvia. It's such a beautiful rig. Sylvia's hot in those shots. He looks cute with those tattoos and shorts on. All right, well, before she shares the big news, let's go swap over to Bailey's house. All right, so Sylvia's just got a phone call from Sylvia telling her that she's not coming home and she has moved in with her boyfriend, Xavier. So I feel like Victoria's gonna be absolutely freaking out. Uh, she's, yeah, she's she's gonna be freaking out. I mean, it's two in the morning, her, her daughter didn't come home and has told her she's moved out with this guy. Bailey's Ooh, gonna be. Are you serious? She just moved out? Oh, well, I guess Esther yeah, can have her room. Don't worry, Victoria. She'll be back. She'll be back super soon. She won't last a week with that guy. Ah, <laughs> so let's maybe. Where is Clarice? We might get uh Victoria to let off some steam to Clarice and just be like, "Oh my God, share the gossip." And um. Not argue, but the Norba KBC boat. Pinguna. Oh my gosh, she's like, are you kidding me? Sylvia, I mean, I'm not really surprised. That girl has always been crazy. Don't worry, Victoria. We should probably help them get set up in their new apartment. Maybe give them a few things they might not have. Do they have a washing machine, a dryer? No, let's just be as supportive as possible. Let her live a little. Clarice, since when is Clarice so cool? Clarice's like, ugh. Right. Although I have to say, Victoria and Sylvia's relationship is very bad right now. They've been so distant for so long. She has a very neutral relationship with her daughter. So, like, her moving out isn't as big a deal as it would be for a lot of parents, I don't think. What I might do is... Oh, God, we need to fix this. Uh, we might get Bailey to just quickly spend a little bit of time with Esther. Let's just rock her a little bit, bounce her a little bit. I think when Victoria actually goes to see Sylvia's house, she's going to, like, absolutely crack it. But right now, she's remaining calm with Clarice. Everyone's kind of just in a bit of shock, I would say. Uh, but let's... Let's... Um, let's maybe... I was going to say let's prepare Sylvia's room for Esther, but I'm thinking we just wait a little bit because we only just found out she moved. And while Esther is still a little baby, I think it's okay. But I'm pretty sure we definitely need to give Esther a little first birthday party in the next part. I'm so excited for Esther to age up. And I'm thinking that Bailey's dad, long lost dad, may make... A appearance much to Clarice's dismay Clarice would not want that man in her house um, but Bailey would be super excited and maybe Max will even make an appearance as well uh, so that could be really nice and Bailey's been such a good mom she's been great oh hey girl she's taking a tinkle and out on sweet no worries maybe their on sweet is broken or something uh, and Clarice is probably like all right so we've we got to get some new toddler things we've got to go get a potty high chair make the room look amazing. Clarice is like totally in productive mode. She's like, sweetie, I'm so excited for the new room. What color should we go with? Pink, green, blue. Billy be like, I don't know, mom. I want something contemporary. <sighs> I wish Max was here to help. Oh, well, Clarice can just say to Bailey, give her a hug. She's always being, she's being very supportive with Bailey and her daughter actually. <laughs> You'd just be like, look, Bailey, you're doing so well already. You don't even well, need it. You'd be fine. Scuba. You'd be a great mom, just like I was to you. Win and you didn't even need a dad. Yeah, boo. Like, well, I was actually wondering if I could invite Zorbo. dad to Esther's first Zorbo. birthday. Be like, ugh, Bailey, no. Yeah, Rudy's not Zorbo. a good person. Rudy, hey, <sighs> okay, fine. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. Well, well, well. <sighs> 
Pokeberry. She's like, I don't want that guy in my house. Anyway, it's 5.18. I don't know why these guys are still all up. And Bailey really should be uh, working really hard for school because she's going to age up as well. Oh, my God. I know what we should do. We should have the birthday. Bailey's birthday, Sylvia's birthday, and Esther's birthday on the same day. Maybe in Sylvia's new apartment. That could be fun. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be little Esther's room, which is going to be adorable. Wait, do we want this to be Esther's room? Yeah, so then Bailey still has her ensuite. And that's good, so she can stay at home with her mom, because look, Bailey doesn't have any money. She needs her mom's support. I don't really know how she would move out without and support a baby without her mom. Uh, so, Victoria still snoozing. Let's just yeah. get you upstairs. Clarice is really tired as well. Oh, I wish I didn't make them stay up all night. I just wasn't interested in the time. Okay, I think we can get Clarice to have a quick nap before work. And how is she going? How is her work ethic going, actually? Is she... Oh, my God. We still need to get that charisma skill up. She's so close to reaching level 10. She's been sitting here the whole time. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna make it until we get that charisma skill up. So uh, we better just make her sleep a little bit. Is that the baby crying? No. School for Bailey starts in one hour. Uh, we will get her up to go there. Mm -hmm. She'll have to say goodbye to little Esther. Uh -huh. Give her a cuddle before oh, yeah. she goes to school. That would be so hard going to school and leaving your gorgeous little baby yes, at home. I. Oh my god, Esther's so cute. I cannot wait to see what she looks like as a toddler. Oh my gosh. Maybe... And Max hasn't seen little... Come to see little Esther. Uh, maybe Clarice isn't letting Max come to see the baby. I mean, Clarice knows what it's like to have a man not be there to support their child. So she's probably like, I'd rather him not be in the house until you're more settled, Bailey. Which is totally understandable. All right, and then we need to get Victoria to go over to Sylvia's house and absolutely crack it. So let's do that. <laughs> that sounds like a little bit of fun. Uh, not really, that's actually kind of sad that her daughter just moved out on her. But hey, Sylvia does what she wants. She's never been one to uh, live with many constraints. All right, so let's go visit her. Clarice, uh, we'll leave Clarice at home and she can get ready for work and do her thing. Uh, but Victoria will go see Sylvia and she will let her know what she thinks about her daughter moving in with Xavier way too quickly. Not to mention, she doesn't even know that they're engaged. So, wow, wait, can we get her to change her clothes as well? I feel like she wears this outfit every single day when she has so many other cute outfits. Oh, this one's a fun one. How awesome is she, a mom who shows a little bit of midriff? Uh, knock on down. Here we go. She's like, oh, okay, nice building. Looks decent, half decent. <sighs> Looks like nobody's home. Excuse me. What do you mean? What do you mean no one's home? Is that the right door? Yeah. Let's try it again. How is no one home? Is Sylvia avoiding her? Really? Really? Invite to hang out at current lot. Let's try this then. Sylvia is busy right now. She is totally avoiding her mom. <gasps> that is so naughty. That is so naughty. Oh well. Well, these two are having some trouble in paradise, I might say. My goodness me. Okay, well, that is very interesting. We'll just get Victoria to go home then and she'll come back. She'll keep knocking on that door. She will see Sylvia. And Sylvia's probably freaking out because she's engaged. She's like, oh, how am I going to tell my mom? She would just be avoiding her and being like, I don't want to talk to mom right now. <laughs> oh, wowie. Wowie. Okay, that is interesting though. Well, at least we can check that Clarice has got off to work and we can make some plans for the party as well now we're at home. Maybe we should get the room organized. Um, she could be like, well, fine, Sylvia wouldn't answer my calls or let me in, so let's give the room makeover. Okay, Clarice is off to work. Excellent. Wait, is she? Work in 12 minutes. Oh, oh, we can do some business calls quickly. Quickly! Okay. Uh, we're totally not going to make... Yeah, we're not going to make those business calls. We've got like six seconds left. Uh, Three minutes. 
two minutes. Oh, you guys. They also have their wedding to plan. Oh my God, there's just so much that is needed in this Let's Play. Okay, well maybe Victoria can be left to making over the baby's room because, you know, Victoria's fantastic at interior design and you know she designed the store and Clarice funded it, but she's really the brains behind fashion and all of that good stuff. Okie dokie, so this is going to be the new toddler room, which I think it looks really cute. We've got the little toddler bed for Esther. There's a bit of a purple and greeny color scheme. Got some little shoesies on the wall and a nice little play area with a couple of rugs and uh, poof things or poof things and a really cute little, what do you call that? Toy cart and a little desk, which is a little bit bigger. Oh, and a state of the art potty for excellent uh, potty training. And yeah, I think Victoria's done a fabulous job and she's probably looking at her interior design book and being like, uh -huh, yeah. my job uh -huh. is done here uh -huh. and this looks fabulous, if I don't mind saying myself. So that's very exciting. That's going to be a gift for Bailey and Esther for their birthdays. And Sylvia's going to be like, oh my God, mom, what did you do to my room? <laughs> she's like, well, you decided to move out, so we're going to support you. I think that's kind of cool. No, don't put the toys away. I kind of hate when they do that. Uh, I think Sylvia, I mean, I think Victoria and, oh, I also got a high chair. Victoria and Clarice would take the route, like the high road of just going along with what Sylvia <laughs> wants. And then if she wants Here to be independent, stuff. then they're going to be like, all right, if you want to be independent, then you can be independent. Bathroom sandwich. We found Bailey in the bathroom stall today eating a sandwich. Oh. That's just wrong when you're hungry and need to go. Just wrong. It's definitely not uh Bailey's you know typical personality to be eating in a bath stall but I think she would have been bullied a bit at school after having a baby and it's been a bit rough so I'm not surprised she's just gonna finish off school age up and you know she'll be fine she'll be fine anyway you guys I'm gonna finish this part right here I hope you guys enjoyed it and in the next part we'll hold the birthday party so that'll be exciting and we'll also get Victoria to check out Sylvia's new place too and yeah anyway you guys let me know what you think of this part in the comments Go down ahead. below do give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and as always I hope you're having a lovely morning afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world I'll speak to you soon